Hey there, Owls. Today we're going to learn how to do an email blast using MailChimp. This will make it easier for you to reach out to your customers and even your team members. So let's get started. Once again, we find ourselves at MailChimp.com. But before we log in today, we're going to head over to our back office, log in as if you were going to order some catalogs. And once you're there, we're going to kind of take this image here so that you can utilize it in your email blast. We're going to right mouse click on the image, click on save image as, and save it in your computer so that you can find it again. So now that we've done that, we're going to head back over to MailChimp.com and log in. Again, let's just skip this information for now. And we're back to our dashboard. So today we're going to create a campaign. We're going to go ahead and click on the, the button up here on the right, upper right hand corner. We're going to click on a regular old campaign. We're going to send to our entire list of customers. So you can name your campaign anything you want to. If you don't put it something there, it will revert to your email subject, which is what I tend to do. So in the email subject, we're going to say new catalogs are in. And we're going to personalize it and click on the next button. Once here, now yesterday we created our own template, so we're going to select my templates and there's our template. We're going to select it and there's the little owl that we did. So we're going to hover over in the my title here area click on the edit button and again we're going to say new catalogs are in. So once you've decided what you want to place simply highlight the area here and I actually have already pre-written my information. However what I do need to do is highlight my email address. I'm going to copy it, go to the links yet again, select email address place it in there, new catalog, and hit insert. Also, I said head over to my website, so I'm going to highlight that. Again, click on the link, and I'm going to put in my replicated website. click insert. And the one thing I do need to change is this particular one is not just from me, it is both from the Laura. So I'm going to change that there and add an S. I'm also going to put on there my uh, designer ID number just in case. So now we have everything sitting here ready to go, but I'd like to add a little bit of pizzazz. So I'm going to do a return here and insert an image. I'm going to browse for the file. I'm going to go back into the area that I dropped off the front of the catalog and hit upload. Now again I want to be able to have the proportions there and I'm going to click on this side because I want to align the text to or I want to align the actual image to the left. I don't care about it going to URL right now and we're going to save and insert the image. So now you can see everything kind of went over to the left. But now looking at it, maybe it really fits over on the right hand side because of this other information. So we're going to double click on the image, click show image style options, and this time I'm going to select the right. Scroll down and save. Now it's over to the right hand side and I kind of like it a whole lot better. But I do realize that there's a little bit of a gap here in my paragraph. So I'm going to tighten that up just a little bit. And it looks good to me now. I'm going to save. And there's my e email. Looks pretty good. I'm actually really impressed. So then what I'm going to do is I'm ready to go and I'm going to click on the next button. And it, it wants to put together a text file because a lot of things are want to be read just by text. So just kind of look it over, make sure it's 
there's nothing crazy that you see in terms of your actual content and hit next and then now it's just kind of a checklist I have my list is ready to go with all 60 recipients my subject line is new catalogs are in you can test your subject line to see if the spam will hit it or not all my replies are going to go to the correct email address and I will be able to see tracking the HTML email is there the plain text email is there all my authentic authentication is completed and hey look I might even get some monkey rewards so we're ready to send it we're gonna send it now and here we go we're prepared for launch let's click the button and off we go so they're gonna give us high fives because we actually got an email blast out so you'll be able to come back and check your campaigns later on but hey you did it you got an email out you can now send them as newsletters team emails whatever you want to do set up as many templates as you would like and you'll be able to get everything out just professionally so don't forget to put a copy of your URL to the email that you created right down here in the comments section that way we can all go look at it and see what you did and until then we'll see you tomorrow at boot camp I